Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have Orbit 4, 6, 4, 8, 8, 1, 3, and a lot of numbers. We're just going to call you Orbit from now on in that one of the tier 10 German tank destroyers. It is the Grill 15, the knightly armored one. Um, so Orbit is going to go with Bounty aiming with a regular turbo actually and some Bond gun rams over here. Um, so Grill 15. This is a tricky one, right? It kind of feels like it's it's a lying tank, I guess. Maybe a, a trick. I really don't know how to explain this one because it's very different from the tier 8 and the tier 9. Right? It does look the same. It is a lightly armored tank destroyer. It has the big chunky gun. Uh, There's 750 alpha damage. But it has no camo. So, a lot of people just make that huge mistake of thinking the Grill 15 is actually sneaky, right? Because you have uh, the Borsiger tier rate that has incredible camo, I think like 23 or something percent base camo rating, which is ridiculous. And um, then the Waffentrager Panzer 4 at tier 9, which is decent around the 16 percent areas. Uh, but then the Grill 15 at tier 10 is suddenly like, no, you know what? We're not going to give you any camo over here. Why is the, the replay broken? I don't know. But the Grill 15, um, it has only around 8% camo rating, and that is, it gets close to kind of like the heavy tank areas, and that just shows how bad this vehicle's camo really is. Um, but yeah, when you're used to having a sneaky vehicle, right, where you can sit in the bush, shoot, not get spotted, that is kind of like the, the playstyle that you will adopt, that you will have for the vehicles, and then having to transition from something you know, that you grinded through the tier 8 and 9, to, oh my goodness, the the ridiculous ricochets on the Skoda, um, to do something that can't really, you know, sneak around as well, it, it can't really do any of the sneaking, and like I said, that 8%-ish base camo is just awful. It is just, it's like third worst out of every tier 10 tank tree tank destroyer, only above uh, the FE-45 and Jagdpanzer 100, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like a, a lie, like I said, it's very different, it's not something you expect, unless you actually check the camo statistics, which you should, by the way, you should check all the stats when you get a new vehicle. Um, but yeah, what is the grill good at, right? With, uh, I went on about how the camo is kind of like a trick over here. Something that you don't expect considering the tanks that came before. But the grill is, if you set it like I do, like both the grill and the SDRV, right? It is the most accurate uh, tier 10 tank destroyer in the game. Why is that? Because if you do get the field mods for the accuracy on the grill, and then you use um, actually the rate of fire for the SDRV, like I believe you should, then the grill actually kind of passes, it, it just sneaks above the STV-103B in terms of dispersion. But if you go with base dispersion, the STV-103B is better without all the field mods, without all the equipment. But the grill is still nice, very nice, um, with 0.27 dispersion, if I'm not mistaken, base. Which is very good, it is very accurate, but if you do have the grill, let me know if you also feel like it's kind of... That is a lie as well, right? The 0.27. It just feels like I miss so many shots with the grill. Even at closer ranges, you know, 200, 300 maybe meters. Which is uh, kind of closer than what you'd expect to fire at with the grill 15. Um, I still miss a lot of shots, which is rather surprising. And like you saw at the start, the Skoda T50, couple of bounces on that vehicle. So it's 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 a very troll vehicle over here. Uh, but yeah, statistically one of, if not the most accurate, tier 10 tank destroyer, 750 damage, it has decent AP rounds, 279 penetration. It's okay, it's nothing special, but it's definitely enough to go through most vehicles. Then you have heat with 334 millimeters of penetration. Once again, it's not very impressive, it's not something like incredible, it's not the Jagdpanzer 100's 420 millimeters of heat, right? It's kind of okay-ish in terms of the penetration um and uh, i mean it's just it's pretty average except for the camera rating and the speed mobility is amazing 60 kilometers an hour top speed absolutely ridiculous um on the tier 10 tank destroyer very very fast 
but 15 kilometers an hour with speed. Which is not the best, and I guess this is why Orbit is using a turbocharger with a turbo directive actually as well. Uh, 390 meters view range, average stuff, and something else that holds the grill back is actually if the grill has a limit to the turret, right? The turret is not going all the way around. Okay, a chin to the face, there we go, that's what I like to see. Uh, I forgot to talk about the HE, right? 75 millimeters of penetration, 950 alpha damage on average running for 1006 in this case. So, I mean, even the HE is not that special, but the gun traverse is limited to 50 degrees left and right, which does hold the vehicle back. Shoot quickly, there we go, finishing off the enemy grill 15. Um, it also has 7 degrees only of gun depression. Which is fine, but it's nothing special. 15 degrees of gun elevation, which is very limiting in some of these areas. So do need to watch out for that as well. Oh no, I didn't want to get hit by the Shkoda a couple of times. Avoid the Arty as well. Um, so yeah, overall, Grill 15, right? It, it's kind of like the vehicle that keeps on lying to you. It's not like the other vehicles. Um, the accuracy is troll. I mean, m maybe it's not for you, but personally I just find the accuracy very very troll with this one and like it just looks and seems like it's going to be a set of the back vehicle right but I don't know it, it's just not working most of the time which is why this vehicle even though it is the most played tier 10 tank destroyer in the last 30 days it has some of the worst win rates like third fourth maybe uh, from the bottom from all the tank tree tank destroyers at tier 10 I mean, it does make sense. Like I said, you don't really expect this vehicle to get spotted as easily as it does. It is rather large, right? It is tall. But you just don't expect it because of the playstyle that you had earlier. Oh no, the TVP is going forward. The first one doesn't go through. The second one before she does. Now, Orbit is down to 300 HP. My goodness, 1v7 turning into a 1v6 over here. But there are still like six vehicles on the enemy team. And yeah, Orbit is a one-shot every single one of those vehicles okay what is all going to do spotting the leopard one luckily not getting spotted themselves over here watch out you don't want to get hit by anything a one shot to everything no the shah is not a one shot it's actually ramming the shah left 88 hit points remaining my goodness the shah luckily just hits the track and does not go through but the leopard gets it from behind and actually bounces off the grill what this vehicle has absolutely no armor. I have no idea how that one didn't go through. Shutting down the Leopard, luckily, with good enough uh, reload time over there. But the A Phase 1 is going forwards as well. Don't get hit. <laughs> the A Phase 1 fires HE into the ground. The artillery misses. A Phase 1 it tries to go forwards again. Who has the really The BZ missing as well. This is crazy. This is kind of like a, an action film where the villains just miss you constantly and, like, the hero just survives those weird things. This is just crazy. Seven kills, 5,682 damage so far turning a 1v7 in a 2 a 1v4 was it 1v7 1v8 maybe it was even a 1v8 and i didn't even notice my goodness this is so crazy this is crazy but still four vehicles remaining on the enemy team uh yeah i did say the the, the, the grill <laughs> my goodness has no armor right so it has like 30 millimeters of frontal armor 16 on the side 20 on the rear and the turret has 20 frontally and 14 on the sides um it will be penned by tier one vehicles. In case you were, in case you were wondering, that's how bad the armor is. But can we catch the CC marked over here? This is the last regular round. There we go. Orbit catches the side of that very dangerous tier nine Italian tank destroyer, which actually plays more like a heavy tank. Okay, so we now have adrenaline rush going. That means we'll have better reload because we're down to less than ten percent of the HP. Right. And, uh, yeah, only heat remaining, firing all of the AP rounds down to those lovely, lovely-ish 334mm of penetration heat rounds. Avoiding the artillery, that was lovely. Need to catch the BZ without getting caught yourself. The BZ is spotted, unfortunately. The grill is spotted as well. You need to avoid this one, and the BZ actually misses. Who has a better rate of fire? Who has the rate of fire? I guess Orbit thinks that they have the rate of fire with the nature round into the upper hull, finishing off the BZ-75, and now it is a 1v2 against one Wolfentrager and one FV-3805. Uh, yeah, you know, remember the tier 9 I was talking about earlier, the one that actually has decent camo. Her, who is going to be able to outspot who over here? The Wolfentrager is in the cap, we know that because the artist just shot us 
from their base. 35 seconds remaining on the cap over here. Need to go and do something. Need to go and finish off the Valfen truck over here, but he was last spotted on full HP. Or maybe not, but I mean, if the vehicle's outside of the render range, you have no idea how much HP they have. But there we go, the grill is uh, known for its speed, right? going forwards at 60, with the turbo it's actually going to be more than that, as you can see 63, 64 even at times, but it is kind of done slow. 10 seconds remaining, can you fight them? Because there's a bomb track with an HE round. Try to finish him off easy peasy, was only on 167 HP apparently, and it was a one shot finishing off that Falcon track. Now it is a 1v1 versus the enemy tier 9 British artillery, the FE3805, with 4 minutes and 40 seconds remaining avoid the artillery. Luckily the artillery misses, and now now it is the time to go forth. Now it is the time to push forth. Eight shells remaining, which should be enough. I mean, it is a one-shot over there. That FE is definitely going to be a one-shot if... If Orbit can catch them. Whew, my goodness. My goodness, this battle was crazy. Like, it left on 300 HP for so long against so many vehicles. And then having the Charlotte pen and ramming just not enough and the Leopard not penning, the A phase 1 missing, the BZ missing. It was just ridiculous. It was just ridiculous over here. My goodness, I guess the Grill uh, is actually not lying in this one. The Grill is actually doing what needs to be done. Except for the start, right? They've just a couple of bounces, but let's, let's forget about that. Let's forget about those Oh my goodness, Orbit versus the Artillery. The Artillery just needs to sneeze towards Orbit and, and that is it basically. And the game is done. Orbit needs to hit the Artillery and penetrate of course. That means he can't reissue the tracks because he does get absorbed by tracks sometimes. Not always, like if the penetration is way higher it will not get absorbed. But you don't want to risk it. Where is that FV3805 is behind the building? Doesn't seem like he is. Maybe he's behind the bushes. There's the FE3825 spotted. Not aiming towards us. Take the time. Shut down the artillery and raise the gun in triumph. Amazing game by Orbit over here. Lovely stuff. Once again, going into uh, sniper mode so we won't actually be able to. <laughs> uh, yeah. Look around. But yeah, GG. Well played, Orbit. Amazing game with the Grill 15. Getting 11 kills and 6,000. 707 damage that we've seen. Maybe there have been some blind shots uh, earlier on. Gonna have to check the check the post-game stats later on. But the grill 15. Right, I mean it's it's kind of average in most areas. The DPM, pretty average. The penetration is pretty average. Average damage of 750 is nice. Um it's not bad, it's not amazing. Speed is lovely. The speed is ridiculous, like the 60 km an hour top speed. You have good power to weight ratio as well. Uh, but the camo, the camo is just so troll, and you don't expect it, right? I think so many people expect the grill to be sneaky because it continues the sneaky line, right? So because it comes after the Borsig, because it comes after the Waffentrager Tier 9, you just don't expect suddenly to have such a bad camo on your vehicle. Like, it's it's kind of cut in half from the tier 9. Maybe even more than that. Maybe it's even more. Um, but it, it's just so bad compared to those vehicles that a lot of people don't expect it. Which is why I wanted to make this video. To let people know, like, if, if you're going for the Grill 15, you don't have camo. You will get spotted. So, like, shoot and move away. Don't expect not to get spotted unless they're outside of the uh, the view range. But you are most likely going to get spotted by most vehicles, right? If they're inside the view range, unless there are a lot of bushes in between you and the vehicle. Don't expect to actually not get spotted, because like I said multiple times so far, this vehicle has trash camo. So if you do sit at the back, let's say with the Yagpanzer 100 and you shoot someone, and you expect to get spotted, right? Because it's a Yagpanzer 100 do the same with the grill. Like, sure, the Yagpans has the armor to tank a few shells, maybe. The grill doesn't. But you need to play this vehicle like you're always spotted after firing. Um, and yeah, that's exactly why I wanted to make this video, because I see a lot of people that just, you know, think the grill is so sneaky, it's so cheeky, it's it's like the Waffentrager at tier 9, like the Borsiger tier raid, but at tier 10, it's, it's not. It's really not. It's just really bad camera-wise, so... 
Uh, yeah, you can actually play a bit more aggressively if you like go forwards, put the 750 damage, and then try to fall back because of the speed this vehicle has. Personally, I didn't find that tactic to work too often, right? A lot of people will shoot HE, and that will do a lot of damage to your vehicle. Uh, but yeah, shoot, fall back behind cover. I think that is the best option for the Grill 15. But I guess, I guess this is it for this replay, right? So Orbit 4, amazing game. Let's go and check out how amazing it was in the post-game stats real quick. There we go. Easy Ace Tanker for the 1409 base experience. And over here, Pools Medal for at least 10 kills, right? In this case, 11. Color Banner also standing alone against at least 5 enemy vehicles. This was 7, maybe even 8. Urgh, I forgot to count. It was way too many vehicles at the end over there. And emerging victorious. A Spartan. For surviving a ricochet or non-penetrating shot when your vehicle has less than 10% of the HP remaining. You don't really get those with the Grill 15. That is very surprising, considering the fact that this vehicle has trash armor. Um, a defender for getting the 94 defense points against the Waffentrang at the end. A high caliber for the 6,707 damage. And a top gun, of course, for at least seven, 6 kills, sorry. In this case, almost double with 11 um, yeah, amazing stuff by Orbit over here, firing 23 rounds, 18 hit, and only 15 penetrated. So like I said, it, it's supposed to be one of, if not the most accurate vehicle at year 10, right? It just doesn't feel like it. Like, I don't know if it's just for me. I have no idea if when you play the grill, you just hit every single shot. But when I try to play this vehicle, it just seems like shots always go outside of the uh, the aiming circle. And it's something I don't really feel with other vehicles it's just the grill so it's it's kind of a troll it's kind of lying to me all the time right but maybe that's just my personal experience um maybe you're actually having better results with the grill 15 6707 damage done uh, 2500 was from a distance of more than 300 meters like it should be you should be fighting at um either very long range distances right or kind of close range if you just want to trade some shells with the Grill 15, like I said, the camera is trash, so you'll get spotted unless you're very far away from the vehicles. Seven hit re hits received. Three penned. Three did not pen. This is probably the highest amount of shots not penetrated by a Grill that I've seen so far. Like I said, this vehicle just has trash armor. It's like tier one penetrates this vehicle easily, so don't expect to bounce anything. With this vehicle, 390 damage blocked by the armor, so it was mostly absorbed by the tracks. One vehicle spotted. You can spot some vehicles. You do have 390 meter space fear range, which is decent. 12 vehicles damaged. 11 of those subsequently, subsequently destroyed by orbit. And 12, 12 whole assisted damage. Ridiculous stuff. Where was that 12? Against the 1390. Absolutely lovely stuff, you know? Who gets 12 spotting damage? Not me. Anyway, uh, yeah, 94 defense points against the Waffen Trigger, like we said. 3.88 kilometers traveled, which is quite a bit for the Grill 15. And even with the gold at the end, right after firing gold of the regular rounds, after firing some HE rounds, did have to fire some gold. Even with that, a very juicy profit of 123,000 credits. That is, of course, with some... Uh, uh, yeah, missions done over here, but even without the missions, you still get a small profit with the premium account, so that is a lovely stuff. It's always nice to get some credits with an amazing game, right? In this 11 minute, 55 second battle, 6,342 total XP with 788 free XP total. Um, so yeah, Orbit, GG, well played, amazing game with the Grill 15, that cheeky, lying tier 10 vehicle. Uh, but yeah, this is it for this video. So as usual, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of the Grill 15? Do you actually have the same problems that I do with the vehicle? Like, is it trolling you as much as it is uh, trolling me? Or maybe you're actually having good results? Let me know in the comments your thoughts, your opinions. And as always, thank you so much everyone for watching. You're awesome. Stay awesome. Stay safe. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Tell us people have a good one.